the internet, YouTube. YouTube is such a powerful online tool and it has been really helpful for my A-level. It allowed me to not only seek information but to put up my own work in a video format for the public to see and give back constructive criticism. Here is a list of all the videos I have uploaded through YouTube to then put on my blog. It is fast, free and virtual which means that when needing peers to look at videos we are able to send them to the direct web link rather than having to go through our blogs. One of the main types of research I used YouTube for was for looking at existing music videos during the research stage of the project. Facebook being a popular and successful social networking site, I found Facebook extremely helpful in seeking information from my target audience. For example, I used Facebook when wanting a range of honest opinions for iconic Digipack designs. I wrote a status and explained what research I was doing and was surprised at how, how many people helped me out. The feedback I received was instant and didn't involve a face-to-face -face interview. Slide snack. Due to SlideShare being unavailable from February, an alternative in which allowed me to upload presentations was Slide snack. I would upload my Microsoft PowerPoint onto the website. It would then convert it into a PDF, allowing me to simply place the embedded code in a post and have it uploaded directly to my blog. Blogger. Blogger was the main site I used as it was the most important in recording our project process. I used it to produce and submit my work. It has acted as a personal portfolio for our project and allowed me to not only distribute important information but to express opinions. As I have been very expressive and evidenced all my ideas through my posts, this has left me with a large mass of work which I was able to organise and present successfully with the use of labels. Images and videos were also very easy to upload, adding excitement to the posts, which presented my work in a much more interactive way. When comparing Blogger to another format in presenting coursework, it is much more exciting and allows much more diversity, freedom and creativity. Wix I use Wix to create an interactive website for my evaluation questions. I have previously used Wix to create a website promoting my media and design work, so I was familiar with the tools. It took me a total of 10 minutes to create a website in which would have my own identity and be able to see for the public as soon as it was published. I felt it was important to have two forms of online presentation for my work so I could show versatility in presenting the two portfolios. Blogster. Blogster is a website used to create vibrant interactive pin boards in which you can add images, videos, texts and web links. I mainly used it to add colour to my blog and present my work in a poster-like format. Prezi Prezi is a website in which has a formal and business-like feel. I used it for showing the band's costume designs and I wanted to present it in a more exciting way rather than simply uploading the imagery. I could upload my Prezi's very easily using the HTML code. Using a website like Prezi has allowed me to step up from PowerPoint and present my work in a more creative yet effective way. In conclusion, ultimately without these online websites I would have been restricted to primary resources for research, planning and construction. I also wouldn't have been able to retrieve such interactivity from offline sources.